So welcome to our tent.、Uh, let us know your name and where are you from. Hello. Well, I'm Benjamin Kaysen. I'm from New York, New York.、Um, I'm here in Medkia, Poland, on the border.、Um, I'm a photographer, and I'm here just documenting a lot of volunteers and a lot of the refugees as well as they come across the border. So, yeah. You look like a college student. <laughs> How old are you? I'm 23.、Um, yeah. And so, why do you want to be here to capture the moments? There are already many mainstream、uh, media photos, and is that、um, not enough to capture the human、uh, moments? I think the reason that I came here, like a lot of the media, there a lot, a lot of them are covering, you know, a lot of the war and the fighting, which is very important to do.、Mm -hmm. And I think there's a place for that. But I think for me. My focus is the people that are just the ordinary people, the mo the mothers, the daughters, the brothers, the sisters that are all here.、Um, just ordinary people that came, uprooted their lives to come here to help these people. That was kind of my main focus, and that's why I flew all the way here to do that. Because I think there needs to be an appreciation for the people that are fighting, but also the people that are just coming here to do good things and help these people as they come across. Beautifully said. So, since you've been here for a couple of days,、um, have you captured some moments that are most memorable to you? That、uh, that you think, wow, this is the time that I think I achieved my goal.、Um, you know how it is.、I'm, everyone, you're always your toughest critic. But I think, like to think, I have. I've done a few portraits of a few volunteers who are directly from Ukraine that have came here, left, and then decided to stay here and help. And just work、yeah. for free on their own accord, just to help.、Yeah. So I've done a few portraits of those people, and they're so strong in terms of what they're about and what they're doing, and they believe in it. And that, to me, is like one of the most incredible type of people to photograph. So,、wow. yeah, definitely. So now you are sitting、uh, under the Chinese tent, but we're not from the Communist China. We're the new Chinese people from the new Federal State of China, representing Chinese people's yearning for freedom and and democracy. And、uh, all of us are, you know, sponsored by the Rule of Law Foundation in New York, <laughs> outside of China. So, so what's your impression of this tent and the rescue work that we've been doing here? This tent alone has received over sixteen thousand Ukrainian refugees, mostly women. And children. When when we first came here, it was like early March. It was like below zero, freezing cold, and we provide 24/7 electricity, comfort, and warmth for the women and children. And so, I mean, those moments really touched my heart. I showed you the video of, of that little young girl、yes. singing the Ukrainian national anthem. anthem, and my heart just melt. Yeah. Any comments? I think we'll. Beside yourself, Nicole, this whole organization that you guys have been able to put together is quite remarkable. Sixteen thousand just alone at this one tent is something that is unheard of.、Um, you know, I got here and and I've seen what you guys have done, and you've built a place that everyone has felt welcome, whether you're French, American, Ukrainian, Polish. Everyone's been able, at least in your tent. To come in and ask for help, and you guys have been so welcoming and done such a good job with that, and that's a big reason why I came here was to document you guys. And I think it's people like you guys, and it's the workers, just the ordinary people, even that are just helping push the chairs in, just to keep things organized or give a kid a toy. It's like those things matter so much, and without you guys, the world would be in such a worse off place.、And、I think there needs to be. Such more of an appreciation for that, which is why very thankful for you guys for what you're doing, because it's incredible. Like people say it, but to actually do it to help these people and have such a wonderful space and room and tent is just incredible. So. Yeah. Well, thank you. But actually, we take more than we give because we we take joy, happiness, and we take beautiful memories、uh, for lifetime. And we have adopted uh, Mr. Uh, ben, uh, Mr. Bunny, Mr. Chicken, and Miss Picapole,、yes. <laughs> and the French volunteer. And so I think being a, you know, being here and witnessing the moment where all people coming together is just a, such a beautiful、uh, memory.、Yeah. It really is, and I think it's one of those things that'll reverberate 
throughout time and people remember these things and they're small acts but not to these people they're not and that's something incredible and it only snowballs right it's 16,000 today but next month it could be 40,000 50,000 and that's something to always smile about so yeah, yeah. And I told you about the upcoming uh, Independence Day of the new federal state of China. Um, so it was uh, uh, founded by Mr. Mao Guo in New York. Uh, he's the leader and founder of the Chinese whistleblower movement. So he started this movement to lead the Chinese people to uh, to flee from communism and overthrow the communism because in communist China people have no freedom and we know the Chinese Communist Party is, is Putin's friend they started this wall and but they don't represent the Chinese people we have to be here to let people know that uh, um, the Chinese Communist Party does not represent the Chinese people we love peace and uh, freedom so we welcome you to be part of our celebration and it's an Independence Day for hundreds of millions of Chinese people who um, who love embrace the the values the universal values and American values like the beacon of hope with the Statue of Liberty in New York so I hope you can join us I will be there and you know it. <laughs> thank you, thank you. I think for a lot of people who are below, like uh, who are less than uh, 30 or 40 years old, um, people might not uh, know the Tiananmen massacre in 1989, but a lot of people have uh, watched the television and see that one man standing in front of the tank. That is a symbol of the how Chinese people is fighting so hard to be free. And this is the day that um, we will be celebrating our independence from the Chinese Communist Party, and we will be. A, um, become a strong, independent nation, but with compassion and love and to spread all over the world. Uh, not the Chinese Communist Party's communist uh, dictatorship that uh, only exports um, chaos and destruction and war and hatred. And, and COVID-19 is a CCP virus. So we hope we can you know, do our part to make this world a little better place to be. It just starts with one small little act per day. So, yeah. yeah. Thank you, Ben, and I hope you achieve your goal being here in Medica for your uh, photography project. Thank you. Thank you guys for what you do. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. You're good, but you're so shy. <laughs>